Hi YouTube, Alan back with another great pickups video. If you're just checking out my channel, my name's Alan, I live in Everett, Washington, and I do weekly game pickups. Um, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than I usually do. Usually, um, if you've watched my previous videos, you know I'm kind of toning down on my going out in the wild and hunting for video games, at least until probably next weekend, where I'm going to be going to the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo on the 13th and 14th and I'm just gonna be going out and looking and seeing what I could find there I mean yeah most of it's gonna be retail prices or pretty close but I'm hoping to hit a few vendors and maybe work some my magic and get some good deals but anyways I do have a pickups video today so sit back and enjoy it um, yeah so as you all know I'm saving money for the convention and lo and behold I get bored and I decide to go check out Craigslist because that's basically you know what I do if I don't want to go out in the wild and basically look for games. Um, I will tell you it is hit or miss Craigslist nowadays. There are always a lot of resellers and there is a lot of people looking for video games but every once in a while you will come across somebody that has a decent you know set of stuff that doesn't basically know what they have and if you can jump on that before basically before the resellers get a hold of it you can usually fare out on a good deal well that's what I did today I um, seen a Craigslist ad last night I think it was about 630 some lady posted that she had an N64 bundle with a couple of controllers and a gun and a few other things and kind of drew me back. I was like, the Nintendo 64 didn't have a gun. And so I asked her for pictures before she posted them. And she's like, I'm about to post pictures, but I'll send you them. And I told her, hey, ma'am, you have a Nintendo, not a Nintendo 64. But um, she's like, I'm just going off with what my husband said. He said that um, why don't you post this Nintendo 64 since it's just been sitting in the closet. Um, maybe somebody, you know, get some use out of it. So basically that's the backstory. Um, she got it for her grandkids and they never were interested in the regular Nintendo. So she had all these games and yeah, she got them for them and they basically never played them and they just sat in her closet. So yeah, I'll share with you what I got and then at the end I'll share with you how much I paid for it all. So I got this huge tub from her. She had it basically in a bin. And yeah, so. Um, yeah. So basically what I picked out of the bin, what she had, like I said, she thought she had a Nintendo 64 and it turned out to be regular Nintendo. Now this one looks a lot better than mine. Mine has a little bit of yellowing, so I might definitely will hold on to this one. I don't know if I'll use it or if I'll just keep it until I can get a boxed one but this one looks absolutely gorgeous minus the box I mean minus not having a box I mean it still looks absolutely gorgeous there's barely anything wrong with it that I can see the only thing that I've seen wrong with it there was a little scratch like right there but other than that it did come with the two controllers did come with the zapper gun came with the coaxial and power cord. Cool thing about these, obviously they played it one time or a couple of times or somebody did because they had these extender cables, kind of. I like, I've never seen one for the Nintendo, so I think it's kind of cool. Definitely help out when I'm sitting on the couch and instead of having to sit so close to the TV, I can kind of like sit back and enjoy, play games. So yeah. So, you're all probably wondering, what games did I pick up for the system? Well, as everybody picks up with when they get a Nintendo, that is Mario Duck Hunt. The only thing I loved about this, the labels and the cartridges all look freaking beautiful. Like, I know there's kind of that glare, but I kind of want to show that glare. Like, none of these have rips, tears, or anything. They all look freaking gorgeous. These pins on these look like they've never been touched, like never been, you know, done. And you know what? That's it for the loose games. 
And what I mean by loose schemes, the rest are. I can't kind of. Yeah. So the rest are boxed. I mean, none of them are brand new, but they are boxed. So in no particular order, I'll share them with you. First game I picked up, and it is a Capcom game, it is Gunsmoke. Are you ready to climb into the saddle and accept the Captain Commando Challenge? So, yeah, I'll share this one with you since most of these are the same way. Some of them don't come with the manual, but I'm not going to complain. I will go to the, when I go to the convention next weekend, I'll look for some manuals. But these all look beautiful. Like, like I said, they've never been played. You know, they were just sitting in her closet. So, yeah. Pins, everything look perfect. And most of them have the Nintendo brand um, dust sleeve. Some of them have, you know, just the regular black one. So, yeah. I definitely will keep an eye out when I'm at the convention for some manuals. But some of them do have manuals, but that's the first game. Next game, Destination Earth Star. Next game, Taboo, The Sixth Sense. I just recently watched the Angry Video Game Nerd. Um, basically, James Rolfe um, and Mike Mateo play this. It's kind of interesting. So, yeah, it's kind of cool to pick it up. Next game is Part Man, Part Machine. All game Robocop. I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. Next game, Star Voyager. This one's probably one of the bad ones, but it does have a small rip. But given its age from 1987, I am really not going to complain. Next game, American Gladiators. Welcome to the wild world of sports. Not. <laughs> Next game, everybody's favorite game show, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Next game, everybody's favorite, Track and Field 2. Next game, what do I have? I have four eyes. No, I have eight eyes. Next game, they kind of go together, and they also have a little cool little book, and that is Star Wars and Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. And like I said, it's got a cool little book, and that is Star Wars Hit Book. And this shares, like, basically all the different levels, and, yeah, it gives, like, little descriptions and little pictures of the game, and, yeah, it's just kind of cool. So, yeah, it's kind of cool little addition. And it basically tells you how to get 100% of a game, and it's kind of cool. So, the next game is also kind of a series that go together, and I didn't realize it had a sequel, but it does. And that is Top Secret uh, Episode Gloco 13, Only You Can Help Save the World. And apparently they made a sequel, but... It, I didn't know about it, and that is the Moffat Conspiracy. And it says, Caution! Opening this box unleashes an awesome adventure! And the only bad thing about this one, it does have a sticker, but I think I might be able to get it off, depending upon if I even want to. And it does have the original price tag from 1993. I'm sure it's not the original. I was trying to see. No. It's like three years later, they marked it down to ten bucks. So, yeah. Next two games, To the Earth. Use your lightsaber gun to blast deadly UFOs, hurling meteors, and angry aliens on a cosmic battlefield. And also, Kit, everybody's favorite car of the 80s, Night Rider. Night Rider. <laughs> Next game is a black spot. Black box title. I didn't have it, and it obviously it's since it's from the early ones. It is gonna have a five pin, and I thought it was kind of cool. Hogan's Alley. <gasps> it 
it's safe. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Tommy Hogan down. Next game. Top Gun. I hate this game because I can never land on the aircraft carrier. It's too damn hard. Should not be that hard to land on. So the next two games are both Capcom games, and they're one of my favorites. I just recently watched Pat the NES, Pat the NES Punk do a review on this game. Thought it was kind of cool, and I'm now glad to have it in my collection, especially boxed. And that is Commando, or yeah, Commando, or Captain Commando on the back, because it's a Captain Commando challenge series. The last Capcom game, it's nothing too fancy, but I still liked it, and that was Super Go Ghost and Goblins. Definitely a great game. The only bad thing about this one, I know it's missing its manual, and it's also got this like hang tab thing that kind of like pushed on the box and kind of break through the thing. It's been broken, but I mean, it's still, you know, in great shape. All of them you know, look amazing, never been played, so, yeah, anyways, um, if you, you're probably all wondering, I mean, I kind of dragged this out kind of too long, I'm already at 11 minutes, so, yeah, you're probably all wondering what I paid for it, so, she had the ad for 125, which I totally think is totally fair, and I kind of, made a deal with her. I told her, hey, if I can come to Seattle and meet you, instead of you coming to see me, do you think you could possibly um, lower the price any? And she agreed to that. And I was glad she did. And basically what I paid for it, you know, was 105. I know it's kind of weird, but basically I wanted, I told her I needed 20 to get back. I needed 20 to get back to Everett and, um, because I didn't know what buses I needed to take, even though I kind of did. Um, it was kind of, you know, out of my, you know, way to basically go there. And she basically agreed to 105. I mean, for... 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19 box games and one loose game. With them all looking perfect, I ain't going to complain. So... I'll definitely do that any day of the week. Um, I know a lot of them aren't worth much of money, but you know what? How often do you come across box games from the 80s and early 90s for the Nintendo system? Not too often, so I'm glad I picked it up. And Anyways, if you liked what I picked up, please give me a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment. Send me a message. I love reading your guys' comments and... Um, answering your guys' questions, and basically, you know, my next video, hopefully, will probably be for the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo. I'm going to try to learn how to do editing and start editing my videos instead of doing one-shot, one-take videos. I'm going to hopefully learn how to edit, so then basically uh, it's not, you know, so chaotic, and I can kind of take a breather instead of just all, taking it all in one shot. So, anyways, if, yeah, until then, bye guys.